Today we're going to learn some of the most famous educational theorists and their respective learning theories that every teacher should know about. We'll know their respective philosophies and famous contributions in the field of education. Let's start off with Lewis Frederick Skinner, also known as B.F. Skinner. He's an American psychologist and behaviorist who developed the theory of operant conditioning. The idea that behavior is determined by its consequences, be they reinforcements or punishments which make it more or less likely that the behavior will occur again. Albert Bandura Bandura is known for his social learning theory. This theory posts that people learn from one another via observation, imitation, and modeling. He developed his Bobo doll experiment which demonstrated that children are able to learn through the observation of adult behavior. Carl Jung He is the founder of analytical psychology who developed a theory of psychological types designed to categorize people in terms of various personality patterns. Confucius Also known as Kung Fu Tzu he is an ancient Chinese philosopher whose beliefs and teachings are into something akin to a religion. Confucius' social philosophy was based primarily on the principle of loving others while exercising self-discipline. He believed that loving others could be put into action using the golden rule, what do you not wish for yourself, do not do to others. Edward Thorndike He's an American psychologist who developed learning theory called connectionism. He presented three laws of learning on the basis of his experiments in the field of animal psychology. Eric Erikson He was a German-American developmental psychologist and psychoanalyst known for his theory on psychological development of human beings, also known as Erikson's Eight Stages of Psychosocial Development. Ivan Pavlov He is a Russian physiologist known chiefly for his development of the concept of the conditioned reflex also known as the classical conditioning. He used a dog for his experiment. Jean Piaget He's a Swiss psychologist who was the first to make a systematic study of the acquisition of understanding in children, also called Piaget's theory of cognitive development. He came up with four stages of development. Friedrich Froebel He's a German educator who was founder of the kindergarten. He opened an infant school in 1837 which he originally called the Child Nurture and Activity Institute and later renamed it to the Kindergarten or Garden of Children. Johann Pistolossi He's a Swiss educator known as the father of modern education. The Pistolossi method is a whole child approach that emphasizes the development of all aspects of a person including the head, heart, and hands. Jerome Bruner He is an American psychologist who made significant contributions to human cognitive psychology and cognitive learning theory in educational psychology. A major theme in the theoretical framework of Bruner is that learning is an active process in which learners construct new ideas or concepts based upon their current or past knowledge. He was concerned with how knowledge is represented and organized through different modes of thinking and so he proposed three modes of representation. John Dewey He is an American philosopher and educator who was a founder of the philosophical movement known as pragmatism. Pragmatists believe that reality must be experienced. From Dewey's educational point of view, this means that students must interact with their environment in order to adapt and learn. In other words, it's a hands-on approach to learning or learning by doing. John Locke Locke was among the most famous philosophers and political theorists of the 17th century. His views on education are based on his empirical theory of human knowledge in his famous work, An Essay Concerning Human Understanding. His idea was, when born, the mind of the child is like a blank slate tabula rasa to be filled later with the data derived from sensory experience. Wolfgang Kohler 
He's another German psychologist and principal figure in the development of Gestalt psychology. Gestalt is a German word which means shape or whole. This theory emphasizes that the whole of anything is greater than its parts. Hilda Taba. She is a curriculum theorist, curriculum reformer, and teacher educator who contributed to the theoretical and pedagogical foundations of concept development and critical thinking in social studies curriculum. Taba advocated that teachers take an inductive approach to curriculum development, which meant starting with the specifics and building toward a general design. In the grassroots approach that she followed, she believed that it should be the teachers who should design the curriculum rather than the higher authorities. Lawrence Kohlberg, an American psychologist and educator known for his theory of moral development. Kohlberg extended Piaget's theory, proposing that moral development is a continual process that occurs throughout the lifespan. His theory outlined six stages of moral development within three different levels. We'll learn these other education-related personalities in the second part of my video presentation. Check it out! Don't forget to subscribe to get notified.